Hey gang, good morning. Um, this is our last day of our fast and uh, it's been awesome. And it just proves what, because you, you know, not that those were wrong back in the day, but we would do a 21 day fast here at, at ELC a few years ago and they were awesome, they were wonderful, but even more so, um, Matthew 6, says, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and then all these things will be added unto you. And so it just, it shows what happens when you really put Christ first for an extended amount of time, when you really prioritize his presence. Things really happen in your life very, very well. And so um, this is our last day and I'm gonna be fasting breakfast this morning. I fasted breakfast yesterday and um, it's it's just been an awesome time. And, and I've begun to see some things kind of begin to shift in my life. Uh, shift in my thought process, shift in my hope, shift in, in even my family. Um, the prayer for our children has been going great. Um, and yes, I'll be praying for everyone's kids, even if you didn't get their names on there. I, I kind of know who who wasn't able to do that. So I, I'm, I'm, I'm including them in prayer also too. Um, but today, what I wanted us to do is kind of... Um, you know, this happens after every great event. And um, sorry, I'm just waking up. It's early. And so we had this rah-rah moment for a week and then we drop off. And I and I don't want that to happen this time. Um, I want you all to really just keep this going. And here's what I want you all to do. And here's what I mean. Um, we are going to start Friday Fast at ELC where the whole church has a mindset of fasting on Fridays. If you cannot do Friday, you pick a day during the week and you and you fast a meal. Um, that is going to become the fabric of our culture to fast. And I believe we're being obedient by the word of God. I believe that we're gonna see great things happen in our lives individually and collectively when we do this. Um, so that's number one. Number two, after today, don't stop. And I'm going to give you guys some keys of what to do after the fast to keep this momentum in your life going. All right. So here we go. Here's number one. Oh, by the way, don't miss Sunday. It's going to be awesome. Uh, you've you've probably seen some videos of, of, of us already on Facebook, uh, if you have Facebook. Uh, but uh, Pastor, G, uh, Pastor Glenn and, 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 and Michelle are here. And... Um, uh, we're, it's going to be an awesome Sunday. So again, Sunday morning, 10.30 a.m. It, it'll be a different service, um, but come early. Um, and uh, we will have no kids church that Sunday. I want the kids under the anointing of the Holy Ghost. So um, come then. And we're going to be believing God for a complete healing of every disease that you all have. Um, every emotional issue that you have. We're believing God for, for a complete supernatural Sunday. Oh, I like that. Supernatural Sunday. We're going to use that. that. That's good. I like that. All right. So here's what to do after the fast. Number one, stay in tune. Uh, stay in the word. Stay in prayer. Uh, stay focused. Stay. Um, just, just don't just fluff off what you did. Don't. So in other words, tomorrow, don't just binge eat. Don't just, uh, and not that it's, well, yeah, binge eating is bad, but don't just forget why you fasted. Um, tomorrow, when you wake up, have a put put Christ first in that day. Um, ask Him, Lord, what do you want me to do today? So, so to stay in tune, stay sensitive. Number two, stay sensitive. Um, now that you've opened up your uh, life, your how put it. Now, now that you've given him a pathway to your soul, oh, I like that too. Man, we'll write these days down. That's a great sermon. Um, he's going to be able to talk to you. Um, and God doesn't yell. God doesn't compete. You know, you can't compete when you don't, um, when, when they don't compare. Uh, and so um, he's going to start talking to you. And so allow him to talk to you. Keep your ear to the ground. Keep your ear to the word. Keep your ear, keep your soul sensitive to his voice. Number three, stay attentive. Um, God is going to begin to talk to you more and more and more. And when I say stay sensitive, I mean, 
make sure that you are putting things around you that keep you always attentive to God's move. When I say be attentive, prioritize his presence. Prioritize things that will lead you back to him because that's important too. And then also, um, number four, memorialize your thoughts. Um, write these things down. I write down everything pretty much. I put it in my phone. I, um, I don't really have paper and pencil anymore these days. My wife is a is a paper paper paperer paper and pencil person. <laughs> All these puns I got this morning, but she writes everything down, everything down on paper and, and uh, paper and pen, and uh, because it allows you to remember what God is doing, remember where God has brought you. And it really uh, increases the hallelujah factor when you come back to it later on. And the last thing is um, keep creating space for his, for his voice. Um, meaning, keep fasting, keep having your quiet times, keep having your... Um, your 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 morning meditations um don't don't stop don't quit this keep allowing him to have free reign in your life influence you and that's important and so um go ahead and can continue your fast today it's gonna be awesome uh just spend time with the lord this morning and just allow him to talk to you and then i'll see you guys sunday morning early get there early don't y'all don't be late Please don't be late. Just just get up. This this is day this is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. So get up there, get early, come hang out, get some coffee, um, and just just be ready to be blessed. All right. Okay. Love you guys so much. I'll see you all in a couple days. I'm so excited, and um, have a great morning. Bye bye.